So I got a question from my audience on how many times do I actually call an insurance lead before I give up? And I'm going to give you a detailed answer momentarily. My name is David Duford, owner of DeFord Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, either face-to-face or over the phone. So again, the, the question today, probably from a new agent, is what is the point where you stop calling or trying to prospect a lead. Certainly, there's got to be an upper limit before you uh, give up on a lead, right? Where you just doesn't make sense to call anymore. So I'm going to give you kind of my short response, and then I'm going to try to rationalize it as much as possible to you. And there's going to be some contingencies here that you need to consider as you go through this. So the short answer is, I call them until they buy or they die, okay? The long answer is, is that my focus on the leads, if I have the ability to get fresh, exclusive leads that are flowing in on a consistent weekly basis is to call on and prospect those leads that are are the freshest, okay? Over time, as I call on them and prospect them, they aren't as important as the newer, fresher leads that are coming in, right? It only makes sense. We want to talk to people who are at the pinnacle of their interest, and that typically is about the time that they originally sent back the information for the lead. And then over time, as you attempt to prospect a lead more and more, statistically, the likelihood is less and less until we can actually tap something out of that. For example, I want to call a lead that just came in five minutes ago, and that's worth my time calling a lot more than the lead that came in one month ago that I've already called a dozen, two dozen times. Now, why is that the case? Hopefully, it makes sense. We want to talk to the people who or have the highest odds of conversion, and those people are the freshest. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't call those old leads. It just means that you have to prioritize your time to those that are the best quality, and those are always your newest leads. Plenty of agents out there have shared with myself, uh, with others, that they have gotten great deals from leads that are old. Maybe they tried them once, or they were in the hospital, or vacationing, or whatever. They eventually answered the phone and converted into a sale. So I'm not going to suggest you to give up on calling leads. You should always continue to call those leads. However, do it in a preferential type of fashion. Call your newest leads first. And as those become exhausted or you've exhausted those leads, start to tap into your uh, older leads to keep you busy and keep you at least doing some kind of dials. I know that in our call center that I run for final expense, um, we preferentially target those newest leads sequentially in a... uh, specific type of order for the first couple of dials, first half dozen or so, before we start to push those leads back for the newer ones coming in to take precedence. So it is something that does matter. Most will tell you, again, call the newest ones first, but don't give up ever on those old leads. There's all sorts of opportunity there. Again, I've had agents who purchased aged work leads and have made lots of sales from them. So don't throw them away. That's the last thing you want to do. Uh, Don't prioritize them above the new ones either, but keep them in the queue, especially if things slow down or you're not staying as busy as you'd like. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my kind of content, please subscribe below. Uh, You'll get daily content in all sorts of fashions from different walks of life in the insurance business, different topics, etc. If you have any comments, questions, or criticisms, I always welcome you to leave those below. I'll be happy to individually reply to all of them. Thank you so much for watching, and this is David DeFord, logging out.